Water has become the most precious commodity of all in Male. It's the one thing everyone is talking about. How to get it, where to buy it, and the big question, when will it be available again? The army and police are handing out free bottles. Three litres a day for everyone. We don't get enough water, we have to drive everywhere to collect it and it's very difficult to carry. I live on the fourth floor, it's heavy to take up. We're living in very difficult times. Every afternoon, long lines form. Some distribution points are now open all day. Still, the city needs 13,000 tonnes of water every day and it now has less than 10% of that. The real problem isn't drinking water though, it's water for washing and cooking. And people here don't have enough to clean with, and some are starting to get frustrated. This is Male's desalination plant. It stopped working after the control panel caught fire. The parts have arrived to fix it, but not the expertise. The current estimate is uh, at least seven to 10 days before we can have the um, machinery up and running. And full resumption of normalcy, I think, is looking to be uh, probably minimum a week, but probably it could be longer than that as well. For many people, that's not good enough. You cannot use bottled water every day. Like, so it's 10 days, which is too long. And I think government should have a contingency plan for, uh, for crisis like this. But there is no backup plan just help that's been flown in. There's 40 tonnes of water on this military plane from India. It's also sent a ship with a desalination plant on board. China, the US and Sri Lanka have sent aid as well. And it looks like people will have to put up with this bottled water for a while longer. The island city is surrounded by the Indian Ocean. But at home, the taps run dry. Nicole Johnston, Al Jazeera, Male in the Maldives.